Hi, this is Ethan from Combat Radio with a look at Tombstone. Directed by George P. Casamatos, who replaced Kevin Jar. Friends of mine who were cast in this said that Jar was two weeks behind on the production schedule, two weeks in. Thus, Casamatos was brought in to replace him. Casamatos stripped out all the character development, or most of it anyway, and streamlined this into more of a straightforward action flick. Casamatos actually demonstrates his efficiency at the top of the movie when he reunites six characters and introduces us to another eight in a matter of minutes seamlessly. Kurt Russell plays Wyatt Earp. He faces off against the criminal contingent known as the Cowboys, based on the Cochise County Cowboys, who some say is actually the nation's first real example of organized crime. The Cochise County Cowboys were Hellraisers primarily in Mexico, until the Mexicans built a string of forts and forced them out. They relocated their criminal enterprise to Arizona, and thus the backdrop of the movie. There were rival productions at the time of this. There was this and Kevin Costner's Wyatt Earp. The story I got was that Costner's production had bought up all the Western wardrobe, all the Western props, anything Western related they could get their hands on. Not so much to use it, but to prevent the Tombstone production from having access to any of it. Well, if true, it worked out to their advantage, because I also heard that the Tombstone wardrobe department and costume designer had to build most of the costumes from scratch, thus giving us the revolutionary look and the unique fashion to the piece, which I think works pretty well. I also heard that Russell reached out to Costner and said, hey, why don't you come down to the Tombstone set and we'll dress you up as a bad guy and I'll gun you down. And then I'll go up to the Wyatt Earp set, dress up, and you can shoot me in the street. We'll have this fun little thing, but I heard Costner balked at that idea. Movie moves pretty well, pretty epic pacing. You know, set up and delivery the way you'd want your Western to work, despite a few historical inaccuracies, but who cares and what movie doesn't have that? Two points that actually come to mind are Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp were not friends at the end of Doc Holliday's life. They had a falling out, and nobody knows who killed Johnny Ringo. It remains a mystery to this day. But despite that, I would say see this movie. It's fun. Tombstone. Is coming to Tombstone.